It will transform you, NLV. A look into the future, the master plan, what UNLV will and could be in 10 years and counting. On the map, a bigger UNLV expanding into paradise neighborhoods where there were cars, there will be more students walking or biking. We're considered a commuter campus, which I hate that term. We want to be an engaged campus. We need to do that next level of growth. You will do things both on East and West Maryland Parkway. Well, the university will get a feel of that. This is a place you come to and you stay. President Keith Whitfield shared with us UNLV's ambitious expansion plan. 9,000 more students, bringing totals to 40,000 in person and online. 20 to 30 more buildings, smaller buildings adding more floors, 80,000 extra square feet to the student union, or a brand new second student union. A sea of solar panels will boost solar capacity by up to 50%, powering energy-reliant buildings like advanced engineering, and expansion of student life across the street from Maryland Parkway in partnership with county government, RTC, and local businesses, a university district of sorts. Coming in to say, hey, this is the university district. Hey, you go there for great food and entertainment and lots of things that the university can offer. We are trying to work with as many businesses as we can. Uh, the purchase of Rebel Plaza, which we just did recently. President Whitfield says expanding sidewalks will be crucial to make this future university district around Maryland Parkway more pedestrian friendly and safer. As for the safety of more students and more students at night, there will be more lighting, cameras, buildings open longer, and a bigger public safety presence. We're still going to be friendly. We're still going to be connected. The funding will come from the university, the state, and donors. 70% of students currently come from CCSD, and there's hopes to strengthen the pipeline from CCSD to UNLV.